Doug Hepburn is going to bump you up. Do you know what makes Doug Hepburn stand out as an athlete? No, it's not the fact that he was known as the strongest man in the world. Nope. It was his determination to succeed and make a difference both in and out of the weightlifting gym. Despite so many setbacks, Doug did great things with his life. He rose to the peak of his career in 1953 when he traveled alone to Europe to become hailed as the strongest man in the world. That year in Stockholm, he astounded observers at the World Weightlifting Championships by a series of lifts that broke all existing world records, easily surpassing the performance of the then supposed world's strongest man. Click on Doug to check out his amazing strength and exciting career. From the time he was 14 years old, Doug Hepburn had said he was going to be the strongest man in the world. Nobody paid him much attention, but Doug kept his promise. In 1953, he raised his own plane fare to Sweden, where he won the World Weightlifting Championships. The next year, he was Canada's only world champion to enter the British Empire Games. This, despite being born with a shrunken right leg, which you can see here. The weightlifting events were held at Exhibition Gardens. Dave Bailey from Ontario placed second in these games. In this silver medal lift, he presses 340 pounds, bringing his total over three lifts to an even half ton. And now it's Hepburn's turn. He steps up to the bar that is carrying 370 pounds. Hepburn lifts it almost without straining, bringing his total over three lifts to 1,040 pounds, a game's record. These two athletes completely outclassed the rest of the competition. Doug Hepburn was inducted into the BC Sports Hall of Fame in 1966.